everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to blend your eyeshadows together. So this is a requested um, video from Shelley who is um, ShellX85X here on YouTube and um, she sometimes struggles with how to um, blend her eyeshadows together so she asked me to do a tutorial on how to do that. So um, this is the look that I decided to recreate. Um, it's a look of my own that I created and I uploaded it a couple of months ago, maybe sometime last year. And um, yeah, I, I just wanted to recreate this because I thought it was a good look to demonstrate different types of um, blending abilities. So before we get at, into the actual physical side of um, blending your eyeshadows, I just wanted to run through just a couple of pointers and a bit of information. So um, first of all, I think what people don't realise is the main thing that comes into play with blending eyeshadows is definitely practice. Um, I was nowhere near as um, experienced as I am now without the practice. I have been practicing for a long time on how to blend my eyeshadows together and that's why I have the confidence to do the video today. I have to say I am not the best eyeshadow blender in the world and I don't claim to be but what I have achieved has been over practice and time. It all comes over practice and time. Um, a lot of the time eyeshadow blending can be difficult because of the texture of the actual eyeshadow. So um, matte eyeshadows can be quite hard in their texture, so they're quite hard to blend. And um, sort of like the shimmery, silky kind of eyeshadows are a lot softer to blend, so they're easier to blend. So a lot of the time it's all to do with the actual texture of the eyeshadow. And it also helps if you have the right tools. So the main tool that I would never really be without is this one here, which is a, a fluffy blending brush. This one is a MAC 217. You don't have to have a MAC brush just because most people on YouTube tend to have MAC brushes doesn't mean you have to. You can use the cheapest and but the best quality that you can afford and you can still make this work. So it's, all, it's not all about the tools, but they help. So the brushes I'm going to be using today are um, a normal shader brush. This one is a MAC 239. The blending brush, blush <laughs> the blending brush, which is the MAC 217. Yeah. Um, I've got the pencil brush from MAC, but this can be any pencil brush. It really doesn't matter that it's MAC. This is the 210. And then this brush here, which is a uh, shader brush, and it's from Crown. So um, yeah, they are the main brushes I'm going to be using today. A lot of things to do with blending is also to do with the motion. Um, some people like to use a small circle motion, some people like to use a windscreen wiper motion, but I will go through all of that in the video as we're going through the process. Um, sometimes it can be the order that you blend in, because sometimes people think that you put the darkest colour on first, blend that all through and then put the lightest one on. You can do it that way, but you don't have to do it that way. So it's all, it's all about what you find easiest. Um, you want to make sure you've got a transitional colour, which um, it can be if you're fading black out, if you're blending black out, you can blend it out grey. Um, most people use a skin toned shade of eyeshadow just so that it looks like it's blending into their own skin tone. And also a lot of people will say that you have to apply eyeshadow with one brush and blend out with another. That's not always the case because sometimes, for instance, I use this brush with brown on it and then I used it with um, a vanilla colour as well. So it just it doesn't have to be one colour only. You can you can use one brush for many colours. You have to have patience as well because sometimes it's not going to blend straight through first time and you're going to have to sit there and practice at it. So like I said earlier, practice makes perfect. And also it's different for everybody. Everybody has their own way of blending. Um, you can hold the brush here at the very edge and you'll get a really soft blend or you can hold it here at the top and you'll get a very stiff blend. So everybody is different. Everybody has their own techniques and their own way of doing things. So now I have finished all of that ranting. I'm going to get into the tutorial slash walkthrough of how to blend eyeshadows together and I hope you enjoy it. Um, if you have any questions, then just leave them down below and yeah, I shall leave you to watch the tutorial. Okay, so the first colour we're going to start with is this one here. It's MAC Vanilla and this is going to go over the entire lid. Now I've already applied um, my Urban Decay Primer Potion, so this is just going to go over the entire lid from the inner third, from the inner corner to the outer corner. And we're just going to pat this on like you normally would. 
And then the next colour I'm going to take is this one here. This is a Barry and Dazzle Dust number 31 and it's called Lilac. And this is going to go in kind of our outer V area. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply this colour to the outer V and then we're just going to blend it through with the vanilla. So we're going to apply it here and then slightly into the socket area. And then to blend it in, we're just going to create small patting motions and it's just going to blend over into the vanilla. Now if you find that you've placed a little bit too much um, lilac and not enough vanilla or it's, you've just placed too much lilac and you're struggling to blend it through, you're just going to pat some more vanilla on top of the lilac. So we want to make sure that we've got a nice deposit of lilac. And this is just going to, like I say, go on the outer V and in the sort of socket area. So what we want to do once we've placed these two colours is we want to just make sure we blend through the top line just to make sure that it's a nice smooth blended line. And then the next colour I'm going to take is this one here. It is Smog from Urban Decay. Now this one's in the uh, Naked palette but you can pretty much get it from any palette from Urban Decay. So you're just going to put it on the tip of the brush and we're going to rock this into our socket area. So I'm just going to start on the outer corner and just rock it slowly over to about here. Now applying it with a blending brush you're kind of blending as you go because it's such soft bristles and it's a really fluffy brush you're pretty much just blending as you go. So you're going to place the colour and then blend it later so I'm just going to pick up a tiny bit more. I'm going to apply this in small circles directly to the outer corner. Now applying it to small circles in general is the best way to um, blend colours and it just means that you're blending as you go. So some people have different techniques of how to blend. So some people go for the small circles, which is just creating small circles along the edge of the colour just placed. And then some people go for windscreen, windscreen wiper motion, which is more of just a back and forth kind of motion. So you're just going to place as much colour as you are desired really, as you see fit. And then as you can see, this outer corner here is just starting to disappear. So you're just going to continue with the small circles, small circular motions. So the next colour we're going to take is kind of like a skin colour um, or a skin toned colour. So it's going to be a colour as close to your own skin tone. It's just going to help the, um, the smog blend out. So I'm going to take this one here, which is Naked. And again, it's from the Naked palette. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit of that. And you're just going to apply it right where the smog finishes and it's just going to be applied in small circles so that you can um, blend that colour out. Now we're going to come back to that in a little bit but the next colour I'm going to take is this one here. This one is a Barry and Dazzle Dust number 99 and it's called Bright Indigo and I'm going to take this on a really stiff pencil brush. Now this is quite a stiff brush so um, it can be a little bit difficult to blend with um, a stiffer brush but um, the more practice you get, the more you'll get used to it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to place this at the outer corner in our socket line and just with short sort of feathering motions, we're just going to take it across to about here or however far across you see fit. And you're just going to create, like I said, these small little kind of feathered motions that work upwards. And we're just going to create these and that way it will blend nicely into the smog. So we're just going to keep applying that. So we're just going to apply this into the socket area and then we're going to bring it down along our outer V area just on top of the vanilla. And you can leave it slightly harsh here on the outer V area or you can blend it in. So to blend it in you're just going to create really short sharp motions and if you feel like you've lost some of the lilac from earlier, you can just reapply a little bit of that. And then to blend this purple into the smog, we're just going to create really small circles and head upwards towards the brow bone. So it's just going to give it a nice gradient between the purple and the smog. So you're just going to blend as much as you feel comfortable to and how much you feel confident to. And just make sure that you get all bare patches and stuff. 
So that is how you blend those two colours together. It's just really short and sharp motion, very simple. And then because we did lose some of the lilac, I'm just going to go back with some of that. And I'm just going to pat this on the outer edge right here, just to reinforce the lilac that's been taken away. And then for our highlight colour, I'm going to take this colour here, and which is again matte vanilla, this is what's all over the lid. And this is going to be the final colour to help blend the smog out. So what we're going to do is we're going to place it at our arch and then just bring it around to the inner part and the outer part. And as you can see, this smog colour has now blended upwards and out. So now it's all nice and blended and you can see how smooth the line that is. So if you're not happy with any of the blending, then just keep going. It's all about patience and all about practice. So that is the top lid done. So for the lower lid, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this lilac colour again, and this is going to go on the inner part of the uh, lower lash line. So we're just going to apply it from about centre inwards. So it's going to go all the way along here. And then I'm going to go back with our um, indigo colour, our bright indigo, and this is going to go on the outer part of the lower lash line. So you're just going to apply it right there. And to blend it in with the lilac, you're just going to kind of overlap the colours slightly. So you're just going to drag one into the other. So that you're going to bring the dark colour about halfway across to meet the lilac and then you can blend it downwards. Now the good thing about this little small blending brush here, this little smudge brush, um, it kind of blends as it goes so that's always a bonus and then I'm going to go back with the smog again which is this one here and I'm just going to pick up the smallest amount of that and this is going to be blended right underneath the other two colours so it just kind of connects the top and bottom together. So yeah, I'm just going to apply some eyeliner and mascara and I'll okay, be right So back. that is the final result. That is how to blend eyeshadows. So um, I hope this was helpful to some of you. And um, I hope, even if you knew most of the tips and tricks, I hope you can take something away from the tutorial. So um, yeah, if you want to see more, then just subscribe and you can stay um, updated with all new makeup and nail tutorials and tags and stuff like that that I do. And, um, yeah, so I hope you found this helpful. I hope Shelley enjoyed it. And, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And until my next video, I shall see you all soon. Bye.